Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Carriker, and I'm coming at you with another video review. And today I'll be reviewing the WWE Elite Collection Series 59 Chad Gable. I just picked this figure up a, a, um, about a couple days ago at Walmart, and I have to say, this is a pretty impressive figure. I wasn't, expect I wasn't expecting to like this figure as much as I do. Anyways, as always, let's take a look at the packaging here. Of course, there's the artist um, display by Rob Schamberger, which is pretty sweet. It's probably one of the better displays, in my opinion. Nine. Pretty sweet artwork. Chad. On the back, of course, there's his stats. There we go. Pause right there if you want to read. And there's the bio. Again, pause right there if you want to read. Other figures in the series, we got Finn Balor, Jason Jordan, of course, Chad Gable, Kurt Angle, Zack Ryder, and The Miz. Really want that Finn Balor figure. If I can find it, I'll definitely get it. Kurt Angle, definitely going to get him at some point if I can find him. Zack Ryder, same thing. Miz, I'm not sure. I found him yesterday at Walmart. Uh, they, there was only three figures on the shelf. They had The Miz, they had, of course, Chad Gable, and they had Gentleman Jack Gallagher from Elite 56. I pass on the Miz. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sold on the on the face scan or the jacket he comes with. I don't know. Do you think that figure is decent? If it is, I'll give it another chance. But at the moment, the figures I'm definitely going to try to go after is Kurt Angle, Zack Ryder, and Finn Balor. Jason Jordan, I do want him, but I'm not going to go crazy for him. I'm, I'm only going to get him just to go along with Chad Gable so I can have Elite American Alpha, which I've been wanting to get for a while. Anyways... Here's the figure. There's the artwork, which is pretty cool, I guess. It's not bad. Right, so here's the figure, and this figure looks incredible. Excellent. The likeness, perfect, in my opinion. This looks just like Chad Gable. The head scan is much better than the other head sculpt that we had, that, that we had with the, uh, I think it was the Then, Now, and Forever Elite figure, which... Unfortunately, I don't have that figure, but I do have that head sculpt with his first ever figure from the American Alpha 2-pack from, I believe, Battle Pack Series 44, I think. So as you can see, this head scan sucks, in my opinion. It doesn't look anything like him. You know, it's just, eh. The attire is cool, but with the head sculpt, it just sucks. I can't believe they actually used this head sculpt for the... Then down forever elite figure. Whatever. Still glad they finally gave us a new head sculpt because this head sculpt is perfect. I, I honestly have no complaints about the head sculpt itself. I mean, the hair looks great. You know, the face looks just like him. There. He comes with a headband and the SmackDown tag team title, which. It's pretty cool to finally have a set of the tag titles. I already have one of these that came with the Elite Series 50 Rhino, so I finally have two of these so I can put them on the Bludgeon Brothers if, or the New Day if I wanted to. I almost forgot the New Day one of the titles on SmackDown. It's a pretty sweet looking belt though. I actually really prefer these silver plates um, as opposed to the gold ones that we had um, a couple years ago before the brand split. Excellent detail. Sweet. Now the headband, I do have a couple problems with the headband. It doesn't really fit on him that well. I mean it does, but it doesn't stay in there that well. It follows the same structure as the uh, Billy Gunn Elite figure, how there's holes in the side of his head just to have the headband rest in there. Anyways, here's the headband. Pretty cool colors on it. There we go. Sweet. Like I said, it doesn't really fit on him that well. Like, it, like it just kind of balances in there. If I can get it in there. Ah, man. Dropped it on the floor. I'm not going to bother it. What you just saw. Now, probably one issue that pretty much everybody's going to have about this figure is the skin tone. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but the skin tone on the torso is a lot different from the arms. So that's because his arms were sculpted in that color, where his torso was painted that color. So it doesn't really match that well. 
Uh, they pretty much did that same thing with the uh, Chad, uh, not, not Chad Gable, Jason, uh, Jason Jordan figure from the same series. I uh, hate it when they do that. I mean, if you're going to paint the torso, at least make it the same skin tone. Come on. The attire is really cool. It's awesome. I really, I really like this one. It's probably one of my favorite outfits, so I'm glad they put it in elite form. It's got the gold or bronze uh, knee pads, which we've seen these knee pads numerous times. And the boots, same one as the uh, Then Down Forever Elite, except different colors. Of course, good old Mattel, we got a little bit of paint defects, but I can fix that. I got a little, I got a paint pen I can f fix that with. And with that to say, aside from the uh, skin tone and the uh, headband, I think this figure is excellent. I wasn't expecting to like this figure as much as I do. You know, when I first saw the pictures of this figure, I was like, yeah, it's a decent figure, you know, I'll probably pick it up at some point. But after having it in, in my hands and having it in my collection now, I really like this figure. This is probably one of my favorite figures of uh, 2018 now. I, I really like it. I'm going to give this figure a 9 out of 10. Yeah, I'll give it a 9 out of 10. Like I said, my only issues with it is the skin tone on the, uh, on the torso compared to the arms, and of course the Headband is a little problematic, but other than that, it's a great figure. I had to say, if you're a fan of Chad Gable, I would definitely recommend picking up this figure. Excellent. Because I really like this figure. Anyways, as always, please rate, comment, and subscribe. You can follow me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links are in the description box below the video. And let me know in the comment section below what you think of this figure. And also, if you are a fan of Chad Gable, and if so, what is your favorite Chad Gable match? Mine would have to be NXT, uh, them versus the Vaude Villains, or American Alpha versus the uh, uh, Dash Water and Scott Dawson of the Revival for the tag titles. Classic matches. Anyways, th thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.